Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you um, and this one is using um, a mixture of stash, it's mainly Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine, I think that's what it was. <laughs> um, I've pulled in a, a couple of other bits from my stash as well um, and I'm going to be scrapping this um, square photo which is 5x5 five five. And so um, I'm using lots of scraps and bits that I've got on my desk as well. Just trying to kind of sort out what I'm doing. Um, I also have these cut apart sheets um, that I'm looking at. Again, some of these have already been, you know, pretty chopped up. But I'm just looking at the bits and pieces I've got here. Um, and this is a photo from um, the Hey Little Magpie Girls Retreat that we had back in March. I think it was March, maybe April. I don't know, this year's just flying by. So I'm planning out roughly where I want everything to go. Um, and I've chose that really busy sort of background papers. I don't know, maybe it's Finders Keepers rather than Rise and Shine. Because there's Finders Keepers written on that paper. Hmm, maybe, who knows. You'll know which one it is, to be honest. Um, I've got the paper pad there, the smaller one. I have this in both 12 by 12 and um, 6 by 6. So I'm also going to be looking at a few other bits. I pull out um, some Dear Lizzie. Um, just looking through my paper pad, seeing if there's any other colours I sort of want to add in. I pull out this Pebbles one, which has some cool cut parts. Um, so I'm going to use one of those that says Friends Time. Um, and I really like that paper pad, but <laughs> I'm really like scrimping and saving on it because I love it so much. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through here. This one was from a... What's that one from? I think that might be a Project Life one. I think it was Project Life Desktop, that one. So I'm just um, doing some simple layering here um, around my photo. I've mounted the photo in a, in a dark blue just to make everything pop. Um, and now I'm going to add some texture to the background um, and kind of knock this sort of text in into the background. So I'm just using my black ink um, and a roller stamp just to sort of build up some texture. And I said it just knocks that back background down a bit and also as it's colour on um, white as well it was quite stark so this just adds a little bit of messiness which you know I quite like so I'm then going to bring um, a stencil um, through and put a few little stencil bits down I said I'm not going over the top but just wanted to put a little bit of background in here and as always I try and kind of make sure I mark roughly where my picture is so I don't spend too much time doing loads of decoration to just cover it up because that happens quite a lot. So I'm going to add some mists. I'm using my Route 66. This yellow that I got in a kit because it's sitting on my desk. Which I seem to use on every layout. Um, I think I also use some teal as well. So I'm going to put that aside to dry. And um, ink up my edges. Because I'm using a mixture of different supplies. Just inking the edges. It's just going to bring it all together. I don't necessarily always ink my edges. I'm kind of on a little bit of a ink edge and kick at the moment, but that's just how it is. It's how the mood takes at the end of the day. So I've got all of those um, bits and pieces um, inked up. So I'm ready to start assembling my layout. Um, I have these cameras that I'd, I've cut out quite a lot of these. So I decided to just fussy cut um, a few of those. I apologised, I could have cut this out. Um, cut, not cut out, edit it out because I'm cutting stuff out and that's pretty boring. Um, but anyway, I apologise. Um, I'm trying not to like mess too much with my video editing at the moment because my software is not necessarily playing up. Well, it has been playing up, so it's not doing what I want it to do and like the mic keeps cutting out and it's just being really annoying. So yeah, I'm trying not to fuss around with it too much. So now I'm going to start layering everything up. Um, I am going to be using that um, lemon paper um, to mount the whole layout in as well. So that's going to be a little bit of repetition. And now I'm just going to start putting all those together. And I said, and I really like this collection. Um, and it's very uh, summery and I got the 12 by 12 pad when it was on um, sale. And I don't, it's one of those ones like, I'm not really sure why, because I 
had the 6x6 six six and hadn't used any. Had some bits that I bought in 12x12 12 12 and then I bought the paper pad because it was such a bargain. Um, so yes, I have a lot of this collection. So yes, you're going to be seeing probably this for like years to come in my videos <laughs> until I probably de-stash it. Um, but I'm kind of just making a rough sort of L shape um, with my layers and having that photo there and the photo it's I think it's a funny photo <clears throat> as I said it was taken on the retreat I think it was taken by Julie um, on the retreat and um, basically there's four of us we have an, we had an afternoon tea we have an afternoon tea normally on the retreat and <laughs> before anyone can eat anything we have to take pictures numerous pictures um, so this is just a picture um, of four of us um, photographing all the lovely food um, I just thought it was funny because again when you go away with a bunch of other scrapbookers you know all this kind of behavior that people would question maybe um, isn't questioned at all and it's perfectly normal so yeah I just thought it'd be a fun little memory to scrap and I've got um, some photos of all of us that the lovely um, Nikki took and I need to scrap them as well at some point so this is me going back through my um, 2016 album and realising that I'm not going to get um, Project Life done as such I'm not feeling it much this year so I'm just going back and sort of scrapping the significant events um, so yes that's that's kind of where I'm at at the moment with Project Life I need to think a little bit more about it but that's where it is right now so I've just gone through different sticker books um, I had some um, cut aparts from uh, LA Studio, the food one. Um, I've got a little wood die cut. I'm gonna just mount that wood um, veneer up on a piece of that navy because I don't want the text to kind of show for the background, show through the text. Uh, it made it a bit difficult to read, so just putting it on that blue just made it slightly easier to read. I got one of those um, lovely freckled fawn little faces on because I love them and I try to get them on so many layouts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm just kind of seeing what else I can do. I've got some more scraps on here, so I think yeah, let's punch out a couple of circles just to add between some of those layers, just to balance it out because I have quite a lot of yellow one side and not much the other. And so this is say was just a really bitty layout. I'm using lots of different bits that were just sitting around on my desk, um, needing a home. Um, but yes, I kind of quite like how it all came together in the end. But yes, it was a little bit. Um, all over the place but I said I'm fine with that so I'm now looking at like what bits need to be filled in where do I need to put um, other layers um, and just to balance the colours out so again like there was pink missing from that top bit so I've put another bit of pink in just trying to balance out the layout really because that background is so busy I wanted to make sure the photo was surrounded so I just pulled out um, a variety of thickers um, these aren't thickers these are these are hobby crafts versions of thickers and they are pants like <laughs> pulling them off a sheet I think there's about one or two that came out with the glue on the background uh, they're all right they're passable but yeah I, I don't know why I ever buy cheaper thickers thinking they're gonna be any good because they're generally not but this one works out okay because I'm gonna glue them down anyway um, and I want the black just to pick up um, the black that I used in the background and to edge everything and to be honest, as it was going to be such a long title, which is This Is How Scrapbookers Do Lunch, um, I decided that actually <laughs> it didn't matter that they were like cheaper, rubbishy thickers because I needed to use so many of them. So that's kind of how I justified it to myself. Um, as you can see, I've left space under there to do some journaling. Um, so that's going to kind of fill that gap in. And then I'm going to split my title so the rest is down the bottom. Um, and as I said, I kind of quite like doing long titles. My titles have been a little bit pants recently. So I decided to do this one because I quite I quite liked it. And this is literally what I thought when I went to, to look through my photos to print out. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is how scrapbookers do lunch. <laughs> so um, I hope the girls don't mind me using their <laughs> picture. Yeah, I just thought it was, it was just funny. And said, so I think this one I stole off Julie's Instagram, maybe. Um, so yeah, just going to be sticking those um, final thickers down. Um, 
which I said worked quite well. I was then looking, do I need exclamation marks and stuff like that, and decided not to. So I'm just taking this as background paper. Didn't bother guttering it because I've got so much of these papers. Um, and so, but that busy background and then a busy mount. I think it kind of works. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mist all over it um, to finish it off. And yeah, I like it. I like how busy it is. It's a little bit different to do a busy layout. So um, I think my next one I'm going to share with you is quite simplified. So yes. Oh, I do paint that wood veneer because it was just looking weird. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye.